Hey y'all, this is James. James's boat build. So um, we're back here in the garage and we're trying to figure out what's what. Um, luckily, fortunately for me, I've got this roll of uh, craft paper. Uh, when I was a, uh, a truck driver, I uh, went to the paper mills in Jacksonville and um, you know, there would be uh, these uh, cores, uh, half eaten out cores and um, they uh, they throw them away and, and recycle them. And you know, I uh, I was able to get one. I asked one of the guys if I could take one home, and and that was many, many, many years ago. And boy, that stuff's just proven to be a lifesaver. I, I'm six foot tall, and you can see how big it is. So um, anyway. Uh, uh, the reason why I said all that is because of this. I'm using it as uh, for a template, uh, this craft paper, to get uh, my uh, my measurements down for uh, cutting. I um, I uh, I figured you know that would be the best way of. I don't know about putting the uh, the, the plywood on there. And uh, in, in cutting it, I mean, that's the way I've done it in the past. But since I have this complicated, uh, you know, uh, twist into the uh, the bow, um, I figured, you know, hey, why not staple a piece of craft paper on there? You already got it. And, um, you know, try to, uh, you know, get a template out of it. Uh, you can see I, I added more um, uh, marine poxy and filler uh they call it fairing compound and uh it, it came out pretty damn good i still obviously still got to do uh the sanding but uh you know uh look how thick it had to get when it gets down to the you know the stem and uh you can appreciate that from that side too see how how thin it is here yeah, let me go to the other side you might be able to see it better um, you see how you see how thin the chine log is and uh, you know it gradually gets thicker and thicker I don't know if you can see that. yeah there you go I'm trying to work with this I I bought a a little cheap selfie stick and I figured uh, help me uh, make better videos uh, and maybe just set it up so you can all see me do things uh, that's kind of not what I'm all about I, I want to show you how I did it um, not how to do it um, I think that's just you either got it or you don't I mean you know you either care about woodworking and you want to try um, there's so many better people out there to do instructional videos on how to do things. I'm just not that guy. Uh, I just like to show, you know, how I did it. And uh, I use it myself. I've seen so many boat bills that are on YouTube as a reference tool to give me food for thought. And then obviously, you know, I, I, I buy the books and kind of a nerd like that. Um, what, <coughs> sorry. One thing about to my, my subscribers, um, when you're looking at my videos and you see, you know, if it says, you know, the Glen L. Schnook part, whatever, I think we're up to part 13 or 14. Um, this is not a part of the build. This is kind of like the long, the video with the tools and me just talking about what's going on. Um, if y'all just want to see the build, you should just stick to those videos and we're, then I'm actually... You know showing you an addition there's not really much to show you right now i mean sanding and and, and um the uh the boat fair meaning uh you know carving it into how the plywood's gonna lay in the shape of the boat um it's just to me it's i mean you know you're sanding you're carving you're i'll show you how it came out but you don't need to be seeing me a video of me seeing you know uh sanding or using electric planer it just i don't know that's just me and my channel so take it for what it's worth okay 
Y'all be good. And this is James. And this is the schnook. Y'all be good now. You hear?